Hello students, welcome back to a new video. So, in this video, we are going to talk about what are quadratic equations and how we solve them using middle term splitting. My name is Prashant and you are watching this on Shiksha Tube. So, do not forget to subscribe the channel and also follow us on Instagram. So, let us first understand what are quadratic equations. So here in front of us we have an example of the quadratic equation that is x square plus 8x plus 7 is equal to 0. Now here on the left hand side we have a quadratic expression and on the right hand side it is equated to 0. So when the variable in an equation with one variable is squared it is called a quadratic equation which is clearly visible that x is being squared in the given equation. So whenever you see that the highest power of x or the variable in an equation is 2, it is a quadratic equation. So let us understand what is degree of a variable. The highest power of the variable in an equation with one variable is called degree of the variable. We saw in the previous example that the degree of the variable x was 2. In this example as well, we have the degree of x as 2 because x square plus 8x plus 7 is equal to 0 is the given equation. And here the x is being squared that is the power becomes 2. So in the above example, we can say that the variable is of degree 2. In other words, we also can say that any one variable equation in which the degree of the variable is 2, it will be a quadratic equation. Now let us talk about the general expression for quadratic equation. We have ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, which clearly represents a quadratic equation because the degree of x here is 2. So in this equation we can say that a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x and c is a constant. So let's understand how we solve quadratic equations. Now there are two ways to solve quadratic equations. Number one is middle term splitting and the number two is discriminant method. Now in this video we are just concentrating on middle term splitting and we will discuss the discriminant method in the second video. So we can see the general form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now in the middle term splitting, we actually split the term bx which is the middle term in such a way that the numbers that we obtain after splitting that when multiplied are also equal to the product of a and c. Now let us take an example to understand this. Find the roots of the equation using middle term splitting or it can also be solve the quadratic equation using middle term splitting. Now these are the two examples that we will be talking about in this video. So let's take on the first example. So the equation here is 2x square minus 5x plus 3. Now first we compare this with the general form of the quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now on comparison we came to the conclusion that a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to 3. So according to this the middle term would be yes you guessed it right minus 5x that is this. So minus 5x is our middle term. Now time to split the middle term. So let's see how we do splitting. So for splitting we will take all the possibilities of the numbers that will add up to minus 5x. So let's take a few possibilities. Minus 4x, minus 1x, minus 3x, minus 2x minus 6x plus 1x. So let us try 
the question with these three possibilities but what will be the deciding factor how to choose between these three options that we have so to decide that we will just multiply a and c that is 2x square into 3 which will give us 6x square now on multiplying a and c we will see that what two numbers out of these numbers will give you the result as 6x square on multiplication so let's multiply minus 4x and minus 1x on multiplication we get 4x square as the answer which is not equal to our desired result now these two numbers on multiplication will give you 6x square yes it matches our requirement it matches what we were looking for let's also try the last possibility which is minus 6x into 1x that will be minus 6x square which is also not equal to our possibility that we are looking for so since the second possibility matches our requirement so we'll just select the second one now let's see what will be we doing after this so we have two possibilities minus 3x and minus 2x so we will write the middle term as minus 5x is equals to minus 3x and minus 2x so now rewriting the equation it will be 2x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 3 is equals to 0 now let's take 2x common from here or we can simply take x common from here now taking x common we have 2x minus 3 now what you will do is you will just simply copy this and rewrite it here so we have just paired these two numbers so we can take minus 1 out of here so we have now two possibilities what we did here we just paired up this and this together and we have one more equation that is common so we will simply write the equation like this so we will get x minus 1 is equals to 0 and 2x minus 3 is equals to 0 so here the value of x will be 1 and here the value of x will be 3 by 2 so now we have two values for x using the middle term splitting let's see another example to make it very clear so here the equation is 3x square minus 2 root 6x plus 2 is equals to 0 now here we have a is 3 b is minus 2 root 6 and c is 2 so the middle term yes you are absolutely right the middle term will be minus 2 root 6 x now let's see possibilities that we can split the number into so one possibility can be minus root 6 x and minus root 6 x another possibility can be minus 3 root 6 x and plus 1 root 6 x so let's talk between these two possibilities so what will be the deciding factor yes the same as the previous example we will just multiply a and c and we will see that which of these two numbers will give you the product as same as a and c that is 6x square because it is 3x square for a and c is 2 so when we multiply 
3x square into 2 it will be 6x square so let's see which of these two numbers will match the product of this number so when we multiply minus root 6x into minus root 6x we will get 6x square which matches our requirement and let's try the other one as well so when we multiply minus root 36x into root 6x we just get minus 18x square which is not equal to our requirement so now that we have the possibility we will just rewrite the equation so let's see how we will do that so now we can write minus 2 root 6x as minus root 6x minus root 6x because minus minus will be plus and they will add up to give you minus 2 root 6x now we just have to rewrite the equation as 3x square minus root 6x minus root 6x plus 2 is equal to 0 so first we will pair these up now taking root 3 common out of the first pair so we will rewrite this as this now we will just simply copy this and paste it here as we did in the previous example this will ease down your work now to make it root 6 we just have to multiply it by root 2 now we have two options that is root 3x minus root 2 and root 3x minus root 2 which are similar so the value of x will be root 2 upon root 3 and root 2 upon root 3 so this is how you use midterm splitting to calculate the value of x or to simply solve the quadratic equation so in the next video we will try to understand how we solve the quadratic equation using discriminant method thanks for watching and keep watching